was during the early part of February that the South African horse racing fraternity was shocked to learn of the premature retirement of former champion jockey Anthony Del Pesh. Just when things looked rosy, he'd started riding work at Summerfelt and felt really strong after an intensive rehabilitation program after a horrific fall that took place in the Classic last year. Obviously a very, very bitter pill to swallow, but one that the doctors have deemed necessary. And who are we to argue with what might be a life-threatening injury and of course a danger to himself and those around him? That is a very personal decision and we're going to take you behind the scenes to the late 90s when horses like Secretary General and Hot Guard and Harmony Forever, Classic Flag, Imperious Sioux were around. But even before that, we need to find out where did it all begin for the boy from the island? His name affectionately, Dalon. I'm from the Seychelles. I came here about 15 years ago. I had no idea about racing or horses. But everyone at school always used to say to me, um, I must become a jockey because I was so small. Well, I went to find out about it. I thought it was more of a sport than anything else. And I ended up becoming a jockey. When we come back to the original system of the academy, it's a system that's been heralded worldwide as being one of the most successful producers of champion jockeys. And we've seen that with Michael Roberts, with Basil, with Felix, with Barty Leisha, with uh, Douglas White, Pierce Stratum, all these guys have made it through the academy and it obviously is a very good system. It's brilliant. Uh, I, I love the academy. I enjoyed it. I never regret one day of the academy. And uh, without the academy, I don't think I would have been as successful as I am today. And they start teaching you from the basics. And uh, before you learn to ride, they teach you about all the equipments and everything else. Most of the guys before they go to the academy has never sat on a horse. So you go about it the, the, the right way of, uh, of riding horses. And it's Johan's Jet, the last hundred. Boy Blue trying to come back in the closing stages. Clockwork Orange is on the inside, but Johan's Jet's in front. And Johan's Jet will get it 100% right today. At the 200, Diagonal the one to get to now, and Diagonal goes on a couple of lengths clear. Inside the final 150, it's Diagonal by a couple. Helios is now racing away in second and even times. Diagonal's in front, Helios Munstead all trying on, but Diagonal had it safe. Diagonal won at a length and a half. Anthony, who was your first source of inspiration? Uh, my trainer, Joe Joseph, I was an apprentice to him for five years and he was a great teacher. He taught me a lot. He was very strict with me. He never gave me chances my first two years. He first taught me to ride properly and he waited until he believed I was strong enough to, to handle horses. Tell us some of the influences of your life subsequent to, to the late Uncle Joe Joseph. One of the biggest breaks in my career was uh, to get the job with David Ferraris. That helped me to get uh, to know more trainers in Johannesburg and to get more chances with the other trainers there. And with me being able to ride in Johannesburg for other trainers made me ride more winners. And by me riding more winners, everyone started recognizing me. I always believe if you don't get a break in life, you will never be able to achieve what you'd like to achieve. You've also got to work very hard at it, but if you don't get the break, you will never be able to prove to everybody how good you are. Uh, the small little son of Allied Flag produced every jockey's dream and you managed to pull it off at a relatively young age. Classic Flag, the yellow cap has got over from 18 to run second. Classic Flag couldn't be better positioned than London News. Prairie Breeze has been niggled at. Farrellmont, the yellow cap is still passing runners, then the delegator. Flying Jewels only got four to go down the left hand side, the red cap. And North by Northwest is kicking on. It's classic flag, the yellow cap picks up the Rothmans. Farrellmont's running a big race, then North by Northwest and Golden Horde. But it's all classic flag, he's about a length and a quarter clear. Running on strongly, Farrellmont down the inside, flying duel, but classic flag has come over from 18, and classic flag won at the second place, it'll go to Farrellmont. Gold Penner refusing to give in, and Imperious who's coming home well along the inside. Shah Star has switched out, he's two lengths off the leader. North by Northwest, Imperious Sioux along the inside has come through to pick it up. Shah Star is trying hard. North by Northwest has his nose in front. Imperious Sioux is coming with every stride. Imperious Sioux, North by Northwest. Here it comes, desperately close. Imperious Sioux, North by Northwest. Spot money in behind that, then came Shah Star, London News behind that. I'm oh, very lucky, I walk around about 50, 50 and a half, and and uh, I don't really have a problem with my weight. I don't have to watch my diet. And I'm very lucky because I pick up a lot of winning rides uh, riding the bottom weights because nowadays there's not too many jockeys that can ride 50. Give us an example of an average day in your life. 
Uh, my morning starts about five o'clock and uh, I finish work about seven o'clock, rush home, have a shower, catch a plane and then get back home about eight o'clock in the evening. I do that about four days a week. Obviously uh, your wife is very tolerant of your racing and your travelling. It must play a very big role in your life having that support structure. Yes, it's very important, Andrew, because uh, with my son only being 19 months, he wakes up uh, quite late in the morning and uh, I never get to see him because I leave home very early and uh, by the time I get back home, he's fast asleep. But my wife has been very supportive and uh, she's backing me up and that's a big help, you know, you do need them behind you. Are you looking forward to the opportunity of uh, tackling the international scene? Where does your goal really lie as far as international racing is concerned? Well. Uh, you know, um, being this season being a great season for me, I'm looking for next season to go ride abroad. Um, I'd like to ride in Hong Kong. I enjoy the racing there. I watch a lot of the tapes there. And uh, hopefully I can get opportunity to go and show my ability there. Secretary General sneaking through on the rails. Ashton Town, if he gets the rails, runs travelling beautifully. Record edge, Anisius on the outside. Secretary General, Great World is finding more. Record edge trying to wear down on the outside. Great World and Secretary General, the front runners. Ashton Town still trying to get through on the fence. I don't think he'll get there, but fortune's coming late. Secretary General, Ashton Town, what a great finish to the Nissan. Harmony forever, the Red Sox, then Gonzamaka. Ashton Town's trying to kick on along the rail. London News is on the outside as they come down to the 200. London News coming out to get Harmony Forever and Planetary Music. Ashton Town on the inside. London News, Harmony Forever. Ashton Town's taking late along the rail. Harmony Forever's just holding on though. Harmony Forever won the South African Guineas. Jetmaster came away with Chief Editor Royal Sanctuary. They were followed by Bright Night. He has the run of the fence and outside of that is Classic Flag. Let Stat is racing amongst them and they were followed by Mr. Wizard. Then comes Royal Victor Model Magic. United Land is well out of his ground as they race them on towards the 800 meter pole. And Foreign Press is the leader by four. The Delegator has gone up to race a clear second. He's moved three lengths ahead of Jet Master and Chief Editor. They were followed by Royal Victor, then Royal Sanctuary, Lestat, Classic Flag, and then Bright Knight. Further back at this stage is French Guest. Then Jet Master. Jet Master's hit the front, but Classic Flag is in pursuit with the Delegator. Foreign Press, and on the outside is Chief Editor. They come past the 200 Jet Master, Classic Flag. It's Classic Flag and Jet Master, and Classic flag has gone to the front, Jetmaster has got no answer, classic flag from the west of the draw, he's the best in the land, classic flag a length to Jetmaster. Yes indeed, he was the very best in the land, as was Anthony Del Pesce, as was David Ferraris. And in next week's programme, we're going to take you down a road that will see a very rare double taking place where Anthony Del Pesce wins the classic and the Vodacom Durban July, as he did with classic flag, who won both the classic and the Rothmans July. A colleague of David Ferraris's at school with Michael de Kock. Gray's Inn is the horse that we start the program with next week in a tribute, part two, to one of South Africa's greatest riders ever, Anthony Delpesh.